My name is Jenny. I've been here with Cathay for over one year, and right now I'm based in Hong Kong. One of the most important things to remember for the interview is to stay calm and be yourself. The whole process of the interview is really tough, with five rounds in different formats, testing your language ability as well as how you communicate and how you work with your teammates. My final interview took around 50 minutes. During this time, the interviewer kept asking me about my background, my school life, and my previous jobs. And they will ask you to give some real examples, so be ready for that. It's really important to be natural. The interviewers are looking for those people who can stay calm and smile under pressure. They are not looking for those robotic answers. It's really important as this is the nature of this job. My name is Anissa. I've been cabin crew for seven and a half years. I'm from Indonesia and I live in Hong Kong now. If I was to give someone a tip before the interview, it will be make a good first impression. For girls, put on some natural makeup, wear high heels and wear formal clothes. For guys, need and tidy formal clothes too. Just be confident and be yourself and don't forget to smile. At the interview, you have to listen to the question carefully and then answer confidently and elegantly but not arrogantly. And you have to be humble to everyone, not only to the interviewer but also to the other candidates. Hi, I'm Joe. I've been cabin crew for more than six months and I'm based in London. Before we start flying, you have to do a lot of training. To prepare, I did the pre-training e-learning modules and I also tried to get the maximum information like which aircraft are we flying with Cathay Pacific and also knowledge about wine to see what's the difference between white and red wine, the cépage like Cabernet Sauvignon or Chardonnay and also I tried to get some medical knowledge. During training, we all support each other a lot we studied together and we helped everyone who was struggling. I've learned so much. It's like I've become a premium service provider, a doctor, a housekeeper, a nanny, and also a firefighter. One of the most memorable moments is when we had to shout the evacuation command. There were some shy teammates, but we were all here to support each other and to applaud them. It was really a magical feeling. The most difficult part of training is to remember all the information we have but that's normal because being a cabin crew requires a lot of knowledge and skills. The training is quite stressful, however, the facilities are really nice. We have a pool and a gym, and I also try to sleep a lot. I think all cabin crew look forward for graduation day. It is a really proud moment and also give a really good sense of achievement. For me, it was one of my proudest moments. I was given the opportunity to give a speech in front of everybody. It's a day I will never forget. If I was to give some advice to a new joiner to Cafe Pacific, it would be to properly prepare the e-learning modules and also get the maximum information about the company and also to not put too much pressure on yourself. Hi, my name is Katsuno. I've been cabin crew for almost four years. I'm originally from Osaka and now I'm based in Hong Kong. I didn't have to prepare anything special for my move to Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a very convenient city where you can easily get anything from anywhere. When I first moved to Hong Kong, I packed myself business suits and running shoes for the safety training. During my days off, I usually like to get some exercise, so I packed myself gym gears. But most importantly, I highly suggest you to bring a folder where you can organize all the paperwork, as during the training, you get many, many papers. After training, when you start flying, you have many chances to go home, either from work or on your days off. So don't worry about packing a lot when you first move to Hong Kong. Hi, I'm Kota. I've been cabin crew for four years. I'm from Osaka, and now I live in Hong Kong. The only thing I packed when I moved in was my passion to start my new life in Hong Kong. If someone was worried about moving to Hong Kong, I would suggest just simply enjoy your new cultural differences. If you stay in your own country, you will never know, so it is our good advantage to find new things. My first few flights were so rushed, so many tasks to do. The challenging thing was to try to gain everybody's satisfaction. You need to try and relax and enjoy your first few flights and take this opportunity to ask any of the crew members as many questions as you liked regarding our service so you will understand what we do in flight instead of trying to be perfect. We learn so much in the training that things do not connect in our heads sometimes. So try to take this opportunity to observe and learn and try to make sense of what we do in flight. 
The most challenging thing about my first flight was keeping up with senior crew speed. But I tried to think few steps ahead and then I was able to overcome this challenge. You just have to be confident and remember your training and all the crew are happy to support you. As cabin crew, I'm really enjoying my free time at destination. Especially in the US, I love to watch baseball. So during the season, I try to swap onto a New York flight and watch a real baseball game. My most memorable flight was my first journey back to my home port Osaka. I still remember I was so excited to be back home because I didn't expect that I would get back there as cabin crew. We might be doing a similar task every day, but I find this job very interesting as we carry different passengers from different cultures, not to mention working with a different crew every time. I learn so much from flying every day. It could be as small as how to say something in Mandarin or how to smoothly pass the information I'm on the crew. There's always an opportunity to improve myself from each flight and give better service. Hello, I'm Lauren. I'm flight purser. I've been here for eight years now. Most of the time, I will be working in the galley where I prepare the passenger's meal. If I work in economy class, I will be in charge of the economy class and I will make sure all the services are going smooth and fine. And I will be a section leader as well. And sometimes I will be a mentor for the junior crew. As a mentor, I really have to trust the junior crew. If I give them too much attention, they will be very nervous. So I will let them work first. If they encounter any problems, I will be there to support such as sharing my experiences and giving tips which can solve the problems. I try to make a happy and comfortable environment to work in. I always think a happy crew can make a flight and passengers are happy. So actually it's a very small thing. When I speak to them, I try to use the first sentences in English and also I show my smile. It's about giving them full support in the galley and helping them focus on passengers in the cabin. Communication is really important for our job. During my crew briefing, I always tell them welcome the passenger because the first impression is really important and this can make the communication with passenger much easier. We have to be good at listening to passengers and have ability to put ourselves in their shoes. Whenever we have spare time, especially after the meal service, I ask the junior crew walk around the cabin and look for chances to talk with the passengers. Sometimes there are many crew inside the galley. They forgot what to do. They stand frozen inside the galley. I suggest them write down all the tasks according to the priority. If they get lost in flight, just take it out the paper quickly and have a look what to do next. I think one of the most important qualities of cabin crew is interpersonal skill. Because we meet a lot of people like our colleague, cabin crew, cockpit crew, ground staff, engineers, caterers, and the most important, our passengers. So if you are friendly, if you are open-minded, and if you like to meet the people from all over the countries, you will love the cabin crew life. <laughs>